hey guys this crypto mirror she does it all a little bit of everything we know that saying Batman freed and give a lot of money to different people political background athletes celebrities so we want to know how much he gave those people and how the money was spent he also asked those people to return that money back we don't know if that will ha ever happen we know for sure he gave tom brady 55 million dollar that's a lot of money to give somebody to represent your company knowing you were not doing the right thing somehow it was going to crumble down a big part of the story of ftx is that it rode an overall wave of enthusiasts for cryptocurrency in 2020-2021 to become one of the biggest players in the industry, but it also spent heavily on celebrity endorsements and campaign donations in order to attract more customers and gain political allies. The federal government alleges that the crypto exchange and its sister hedge fund Alameda Research accomplished this primarily using money that customers had trusted that FTX would handle responsibly. On Monday, the prosecution in the United States versus Samuel Bankman Fried offered a stunning, if incomplete, look into the FTX marketing and influence machines. The company and its execs spent fortune that didn't really belong to them on athletes, and comedians on republicans and democrats all to boost the crypto exchange following testimony from a customer who lost money stored on fdx the government brought in one of its key witness nashad sen a co-founder and a former director of engineering of the fdx like earlier witness Gary Ring and Caroline Ellison Singh was a core member of SBS Inner Circle. SBS watchers have long kept a close eye on Singh, not least because he was a resident of SBS in famous Bahamas penthouse and because he'd pleaded guilty in February to charges of wire fraud conspiracies to commit commodities and securities, fraud, money laundering, and perhaps most distinctively campaign finance violations. He also late in the game to get a close view of how much Sam Bankman frieds companies were spending on celebrity endorsers. Sang and Bankman Fried go back go go way back they both attended the Bay Area's prestigious Crystal Springs Upland School. Though Singh only became close with the defendant after befriending his younger siblings, Gabriel Bankman, freed more on him soon. Thanks to that connection, Singh went to work at Alameda Research and helped to code the nascent firm's trading system. Two years later, Singh would create the uh, architecture for FTX customer trading platforms as Ring and SBF got the new business off the ground, even though all three played instrumental roles in uh, launching FTX to the shuttle stuff as Singh related on the stand they roles were never equal. SBFs never could it himself, but he gave order to rank regarding FTX coding ex changes in functions and turn rank supervised me on every technical situation, Sang said. In 2020, while FTX balloon, Sang began managing other software engineers and building a dedicated team yet his position among ftx founding fathers was unusual for one after leaving alameda in 2019 to get ftx going he still technically worked for alameda until sometimes in early or mid 2020 after which he formally seated his position at the hedge fund Sang also had a small take in FTX. Then SBFs 
in rank holding only 6% of company equity as compared with the latest 16%, though even this single digit personage technically made him a billionaire. And Singh was reported into SBF's task that Ring didn't seem to have much involvement in, such as the CEO's desired startup investment, as well as his transition of political donation and endorses, endorsements. It's a lot, guys. It's a lot. So let's see if I can skip some of it. The jumping off point was the investment firm K5 Global, an entirely, you may recall from the recording of Caroline Ellison's confession, confessional all-hands meeting with Alameda staff in the midst of company collapse in the context, K5 Global was mentioned as one of the many companies that receive healthy payments from Alameda using FDX customers' funds. In this case, about $300 million that was wired over in March 2022. You may also remember K5 making public waves this summer when the bankrupt expect overseeing the recovery, the recovery of your FDX and Alameda's lost billions sued K5 and its leaders, Michael Kives and Brian Baum to claw back $700 million to addition $200 million disbursements were sent in May and September 2022 at Bankman Fried's behest as Fortune Crypto's ban rise documented in June. Kives and Baum pocketed a nice $125 million each. Guys, the story is so big. Let me see if I can see the political people that he gave money to hmm. it's, it's a lot it's really a lot it's crazy how some people can trust this fool but so much money in his hand and he blew it all he blew it all guys this is ridiculous it's it's really a lot it will take too much for me to bring you the whole story so anyhow he gave Tom Brady $55 million, and I believe he also gave the wife 20 to $25 million. Now, he's asking those people to give that money back. Do you think they should return that money? Or do you think the deal was a deal? They did the job for the money. They should keep that money. Let me know how you feel. If I were to read the whole thing, you would take part one, part two. And I know we don't have time for the whole story. So we're going to leave it at that. And, uh, and um, good luck to him. And hopefully the people could get their money back. I saw somewhere it says they would be able to, keep, to give 90% back of the money the people invested. So that's a lot. And I hope they are able to do so. And uh, we haven't heard anything from this guy that supported him. Um, what's this? Um, oh, God, I forgot his name. He, oh, God, Kevin O'Reilly. Kevin O'Reilly really supported uh, Sam Bankman Freed. And I haven't, I haven't heard anything from him. So let's see what happened. Again, let me know how you feel. Should those endorsers... We turn that money back when it comes to um, David, what's his name? Steph Curry, Larry David, Tom Brady, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Tom Brady's wife. I, I don't, I'm not sure if Shaquille O'Neal was there, but um, Naomi Osa o Osaka, the young Haitian uh, tennis player. After she had the baby, I don't know what happened to her. I haven't heard or seen anything of her. Anyhow, guys, let me know if those people should return that money because the guy is not doing well financially right now. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. And if he is able to return that money to those people, should he still serve time in jail or should they let him go? And I strongly believe if they let him free, he's going to have, he's going to rebuild crypto 
currency back ftx or he's gonna build something else so he's a dangerous guy we need to keep our eyes on him subscribe let me know how you feel